Hello, this is Steve in 4LQ. I'm going to attempt to show you how to set up your Smart SDR uh, for your Flex 6000 series rig uh, for digital mode operation. And we're going to use a digital mode program called FL Digi. First of all, looking at your SDR screen, your mode should be in the digital upper mode, D-I-G-U. And on this window here, this is where you choose your audio source input. Be sure that your D-A-X light is turned on right here. And that'll kill the mic and your audio from your software will feed into your rig. Um, up here on your slice flag, you want to be sure that this DAX is on and channel 1 is selected. This right here, this DAX, don't pay any attention to it. So that's basically it as far as Smart SDR settings go. Alright, then you want to set up your DAX program and you will find that in Windows. I'm using a split screen here, another monitor, so I'm going to bring up the DAX program. In your task taskbar you would um, go to the hidden icon twisty down here and find your DAX control panel icon right click and click on show the control panel so there's your DAX control panel and it's going to show your transmit and receive cables your virtual cables make sure that number one audio stream is enabled and your TX stream is enabled and at this point you should start to see some audio coming in right here on your receiver. Um, nothing here on transmit yet since we are not transmitting. Ignore the IQ stream stuff that's for another feature that we're not using right now. Close that and you want to set up your uh, radio control program, your CAT program, which is called Smart SDR CAT. And if you go to your serial, serial port um, here, you will see that uh, we have already set up COM5. But if that's not set up, you just click on Add a Port and it will give you uh, an extra COM port, a virtual COM port and choose the one on the left that'll be COM5. So we've got, a, we've got a serial port ready to go when we set up um, FL Digi. Okay, next we can drag over our, S, our FL Digi software. There's FL Digi. And uh, I've got my selectivity kind of narrow right now. Let me broaden that up so we can see a bit more of the uh, waterfall. We've got a thunderstorm brewing out there, so we're going to see a lot of QR Nancy. Well, this is how I've got it set up. <clears throat> going to the uh, config menu, first go to the sound card drop down and take a look under audio, the audio tab and notice these two streams are set up one for transmit one for receive capture is your receive setup and uh, here's what you'll see when you look is this mess <laughs> but you just look carefully here and choose these two <clears throat> be sure this port audio is clicked okay once that's done, then you want to go back to configure and go to rig control and select your rig cat. And under rig cat, you put your COM port in here, COM5, which we just created. And uh, under rig description, it's going to be a file. And that file is not available in FL Digi. You have to go out and get it from their website. And here's the website. I'm going to drag drag the screen over and you can see here where it is. It's at 
w1hkj.com xmlarchives.htm look at all the rigs and down here at the bottom you'll see smart sdr that's your rig smart sdr click on that let it download put it in a folder that you can name anything you want all right then go back to your uh, fl digi setup here and open and select that file and put it in there and so once that's pointing to that then that will be your rig all right then uh, close that and we can go one more thing here down to miscellaneous and under sweet spot I have put 1500 under ready and under PSK and under CW I use 550 because that is what I have my side tone set for but uh, anyway you want to set this for 1500 I'll show you why in a minute close that um, I have created a macro here this tab is I labeled center and um, I'll take a look at it it's a very simple macro it just says QSY2 and if you put that in there and create that macro button what you'll be able to do is if you're receiving a signal like this one right here you'll be able to click center and it will instantaneously center that signal within the center of your passband on your flex radio and then you can change the selectivity to anything you want like 100 Hertz alright and then you can um, can bring up your uh, FL Digi and you can see now the bandwidth is just 100 Hertz wide and that signal will be in there so uh, that just does a tremendous job of improving the uh, reception so that's about the uh, the extent of that's the major things right there there's, there's a lot of other things that you can do but this is the basic setup for getting started on the on the digital modes thanks for watching